สวัสดีครับ That's how we greet uh, people in Thailand and yeah that's my face I think um, I'm not going to go into a full details like you know with all the statistics and whatnot but the reason I picked up this uh, topic was I had a feeling I felt that this this is a topic that could be applied all over the world uh, we heard especially yesterday and earlier today, is that uh, there are more countries going for the total ban. I think there is no country as serious see, as in Thailand. This is where it all began. One person, yes. He was, uh, he is uh, the prime minister now, but back then, about five years ago, when it all started, he was the leader of the uh, military total, uh, how do you call it, Mo military totalitarian regime who overthrew the government before that. And uh, so he's got absolute power. And something happened. Somebody probably said something to him and he want to ban chicha. Not electronic cigarette, chicha. I was using electronic cigarette back then. This is what happened next. The Department of Public Health threw in electronic cigarette along with chisha, handed in scientific researchers with the outcome of chicha, not the outcome or the result of electronic cigarette, threw it in and combined both into one category. Think about that. And ask the Ministry of Commerce to ban. So from then on, it is illegal to import, to manufacture, and to distribute, meaning sales, however, right? So th those are the ban that came out. With the reason saying that shisha and electronic cigarette is at least as harmful as, if not more, than regular tobacco cigarettes. Yeah. That also led to other type of laws that just follow and follow and follow in Thailand. And this brings a lot of confusion, not just for us, but also for the, uh, the policemen, which I'll get into that a little bit later, and also misinformation to the public directly from Ministry of Public Health. Alongside them are TRC, or the Thai Tobacco Research and Control, who also work under them. Those were the truth, and these are the consequences. You probably have heard a lot. Uh, I came here today. I really wish to, to speak to the, the, the audience not mainly out of like statistics or scientific research, but uh, partly out of pure anger. Uh, so I, 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 I am speaking with feelings. You probably have heard more or less about people, especially foreigners, getting arrested for this the things that have said had saved my life. I've been smokers for almost 40 years and my, my health is really, really bad. And somebody introduced me to electronic cigarette about seven years ago and I quit and everything was better. My whole life was better. The family, the feeling, my work, especially my health. And I had introduce electronic cigarette to lots and lots of people and the results are the same. But the policemen, they found a loophole within the laws. They arrest people saying that since electronic cigarette is illegal to import, manufacture and distribute, 
Therefore, possession of electronic cigarette is also illegal. It's not. One case, one particular case that went viral all over the world for, uh, last year, a French woman came with her family and got arrested for having one of these. She got deported. She went to jail for five or six days in Bangkok. The reason was that there was no case. These four policemen sent her passport to the, uh, the Department of Custom in Phuket. Before her family returned to France, one day, they went to get to retrieve her passport and saying, okay, what, what do we have to do? How, you know, we, we are, tomorrow we're leaving, we're going back to our home country in France. They said, well, if this is a case, you were arrested, you are foreigners, you have to be deported. And they sent her along with her passport to the Department of uh, Custom in Bangkok. The reason she got to stay in jail for four or five days was that she was there, her passport was there, but the case file was not because there is no case. That's bribery, that's corruption. I hate it. This is what we have been doing. We have been going to uh, different parties, political parties. We have done a lot of uh, petitions. And uh, I also started a campaign calling um, Healthy Lung, something like that, Pot Sai Rai Kwan. Clear Lung, No Smoke, in, in a rough translation. I started by, I, 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 about five, no, about eight years ago while I was smoking, I went to have my lung exam and, and it's got spots. I was thinking, well, my health was better. Why not go to the hospital and get the lung, lung x-ray x again? And the same doctor who examined me it was like, what had you been doing? Your lung is now clean. It's normal. So I posted that on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, and line group, and other social media, and getting people to do the same. And we posted, we had hold out our x-ray films and saying, hey, many people are saying, you know, electronic cigarettes are harmful. It could burn your lung, it could hurt your lung. No, nope, it does not. These are some also some of the, the results. So what I really want to say to the world, please, total ban does work. It does not work. World Health Organization had also stated that themselves. Actually, World Health Organization about electronic cigarette, they had said that, okay, it depends on each country to deal with electronic cigarette. You could regulate it or you can ban it. That's what uh, our, uh, our government had said. Okay, well, Hill said, let's ban it. Nope. The second line, the second paragraph right after that has said that it's better to regulate because if you totally ban it, the whole thing will go under the market, will go underground, will become black market like it is happening in Thailand right now. Hopefully, we just got a new government with a new... Mm, should I say new? Prime Minister, well, he's in a new position. He's the same person yeah, from the first slide. But, but, but right now, he's the Prime Minister from election, I think. So if any of you, you know, had problems, especially with briberies and with the cases like happened that I said, you know, like you have run into some problems, in Thailand and uh, you were, what's the word, uh, wrongly, wrongfully uh, arrested and got fined or whatever, you know, people know, people just know under the table, on top of the table, whichever, 
please contact us. We want to gather as much information as we can. And uh, that's my, can you scan it? It's easiest, but you know, use S-Man, A-C-E-M-A-N, 3330, Gmail or Hotmail, both. And uh, with this, I thank you very, very much. That's my uh, email from ECST in Cigarette Smoke, Thailand. Okay. And also, uh, thank you for accepting me as the governing board of INCO. So uh, hopefully we'll be seeing most of our friends soon again. And thank you. Thank you very much.